what's going on in youtube it's your boy gutsy make sure you like comment and subscribe if you don't subscribe make sure you like this video and we're gonna get straight into this new story i've been wondering because you dropped life's good which to me was in my top five top ten song of the year mm -hmm. of last year and she just disappeared no this to Taylor. this track is hard but i don't believe she wrote it still <laughs> So one thing I have learned from doing this podcasting in Toronto, a lot of artists are sensitive. Artist in question, Tay Lee. Big up Tay Lee, man. Formerly of the TNT ladies, managed by 100 Watts, former group member, uh, Killer T. Tay Lee came back out with no Ghost Rider freestyle. She dropped it sometime last week, couple of weeks ago. And I was excited, as you guys know, well, the people that pay attention to me know I'm a fan of Tay Lee. I've been digging up Tay Lee. I done said Life is Good is one of my favorite songs of last year. When we were doing a little review of her new song, and I just said, yo, I felt like it was a ghostwriter behind it. You know, uh, it wasn't really a big deal. I thought that she was doing her thing, even if there was or wasn't a ghostwriter behind it. Um, she still has to perform the track. She still has to rap it. So regardless, like, you know, she did a good job with that. But apparently she didn't like me saying that. All right. So Taylee put in her stories at Gutsy Guts. I wrote each and every word of every song I put out. Don't play with me. Why? Because I'm a female or because you're used to those whack ass lyrics I used to spit when I did have a ghostwriter who wouldn't allow me to express myself. I'm very capable. Keep sleeping on me, though. Shoebox Music Group, heart emoji, listen to the compliments they've given me. I'll personally invite We Love Hip Hop Network to come watch me write and record a song. Stop playing with me, devil face emoji. Go stream and watch, no ghost rider, out now. Link in the blood clad bio. <laughs> so she wasn't done there. She had some more um, gas for Gutsy. She said, I've just been working too hard behind the scenes, for real, for real. And niggas love to discredit women in the rap game as if we're incapable of making metaphors and rhyming words together. She goes on and says she's been in the studio writing, um, recording songs, many of which are throwaways. And they've been working and challenging myself nonetheless. She said a lot. Listen, this is the problem with a lot of artists, especially with the ladies in the city. Like, it's really not that big of a deal, Taylor. Like... You should be putting out music. You shouldn't be worried about little old guts and guts is little old platform. You're giving me space in your head, which you shouldn't do. I, I rock with you. I like your music. Um, I've even promoted you. And you're telling us to show up, which is crazy because last year or whenever you were going through your little back and forth, I was reaching out to you and told you to come on my show so you can get your side of the things off. But like I got beer cold shoulders. But now, after me saying that I don't feel like you wrote something, you feel like you want us to pull up and Toronto artists, focus on your work. Don't care about if people are don't like your music, don't like your songs. Like this is the real world. All right. This is the music industry. This is the music business. Not everybody's going to like your shit. People are going to have opinions on it. Some you'll like, some you won't. But it shouldn't stop you or it, you just shouldn't get into your feelings. You shouldn't get super sensitive. Me personally, Taylor just needs to get to work, fam. This is the second song you've dropped in like two, three years. Don't worry about Gutsy, fam. Just worry about getting lit. Worry about putting out your music and, and, and your rollouts to your song. Don't worry about Gutsy's opinion to it. Like, I, and, and two, I hate when women try to use that whole, oh, men try to discredit women and this, that, and the third and blah, blah, blah. I've been out here promoting the Galdem more than anybody. A lot of you Galdem don't even like other girls. Like, the Galdem are worse than the niggas out here. We know this, but you guys try front and act like it's not. So let's not do that, all right? What do you guys think? Am I in the wrong for telling her that, in my opinion, I feel like she had a ghostwriter for her song? Is Tay Lee right? Are the men in the city discrediting the women that are writing out here that are giving out great bars? You guys let me know in the comments, man. It's your boy Gutsy. I'm off of this.